What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be the recap for Chucky Season 3, Episode 6. Episode 6 started at night with Henry going to check on Chucky, who rolls into a wheelchair when Henry enters the room. Um, or who rolls into frame in a wheelchair when Hen Henry enters the room. Henry doesn't want Chucky to die, so he asks him what he can do to make him feel better. Chucky brags about dying more than once, but realizes the point is to make a difference while here. Leave a mark, if you will. He tells Henry no matter what happens, don't let him go, and the two hug. Charlotte is shown having a cigarette after finding her husband's body. Price tells her he has things to attend to, and the two notice blood on the wall, reading Chucky did it. Price is having a phone call trying to get information on Chucky. Charlotte has a fit while two men come to take care of her husband's body before going to look for Price. She's emotionally distraught for obvious reasons and even tries to pack up Grant and Henry to leave for Chicago. Price stops her by reasoning with her that she has a lot on the line and cannot leave. Lexi snaps at Devin and Jake for abandoning her while she tries to repair things with Grant when these two arrive back at the motel. She congratulates them on having intercourse as we saw in the previous episode. Well, we didn't see it. It was, well, at this point confirmed by Lexi herself. They, they will all be picked up later on tonight to meet with Grant. The Collins have breakfast and Chucky joins them at the table while Grant taunts Henry about the doll and Charlotte is distracted with how to lie to her kids about Collins' death and her overreaction from last night. Price and Charlotte have another heated discussion about Chucky and she says if Price would just do his job, this situation would be solved by now. Price introduces Charlotte to Randall Jenkins, a Collins lookalike who is just Devin Sawa playing another character yet again. Charlotte dismisses this charade because she believes her kids will know this isn't their father. The trio arrives at the White House and Devin comforts Jake before they head inside with Grant. Grant suggests they watch horror movies and the trio shoots it down. Obviously, this was a meta moment. And then Lexi takes Grant to the piano that's in the other room so he can play her a song. I think they started playing Don't Fear the Reaper. Charlotte pressures Price to resolve this soon because now she has the nosy teens in her house. Everyone gathers for dinner, but Charlotte remains distracted due to the pressure being placed on her, and she keeps lying about Colin's whereabouts. She steps out for yet another smoke break. Price sneaks Randall past Charlotte and reassures her that this will work, but Charlotte tells Randall to avoid her children. Henry takes Chucky to a room so he can collect a gun that's been locked up in a safe. Lexi stops lying and decides to tell Grant Chucky is alive and is going to kill his family like he killed theirs, and yes, they lied to him, but it's all been in the effort of getting into the White House so they can stop chucky henry stumbles into the room randall is at and naturally asks why his daddy is here chucky can tell that that's not collins and threatens to shoot when henry puts him down charlotte has another cigarette in a bedroom but sees the ghost of her husband she apologizes to him for everything before he vanishes randall a secret service member and henry get onto an elevator chucky kills the secret service guard and goes on a rant about not liking guns the kids and grant go looking for chucky and find the dead service member in the elevator Chucky becomes excited at the possibility of starting world war or starting a world war, I'll say. So he's on his way to these nukes since he got the nuke codes last episode. Chucky forces Randall to go through verification so he can use the nukes. The trio rushes in and Lexi tells Chucky to tell her where Caroline is. But before anything can be done related to that, a Secret Service member ends up shooting Chucky. But before he dies, he detonates a nuke to the North Pole shouting F Santa. Chucky's body disintegrates. I didn't understand this at all because it's never happened before. And none of the other bodies that have been in this White House disintegrated the way Chucky's did. So it was a little bit perplexing as to why this happened. If you guys know why this happened, let me know down in the comment section below because I could have missed something. Charlotte tells Price to stay away from her children after Henry notices Randall isn't his dad. We shoot to a shot of Charles Lee Ray's ghost in the White House while Secret Service rush in to conclude the episode while Chucky is shown laughing. Now, this episode, I did not enjoy. I enjoyed episode five a hell lot more than episode six. Episode six really felt like filler to me. Uh, that I think, I think episode seven is going to be one of the best because i think next week is when the prison break happens and i've heard that's a really fun sequence but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below did you enjoy episode six why or why not if you haven't already subscribed turn on post notifications you can name this video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know any movies news or reviews you like to cover in the future and with all them nine guys i will see you in the next video